beautiful ride. A beautiful Hey everybody, Glenn. Hey everybody, Michelle. We're going on a bike ride today. Just want to let you know, we were going to go on a bike ride yesterday, and we had a problem with our car. So now we got the other one. So we have our Explorer today, because the Escape has what's known as a tone ring on the right front tire on the axle that has let go, and that's what our problem was. So we managed to get the car home, and I called my mechanic, and I haven't heard back from him yet. I have a actual... Um, certified hybrid mechanic that does work for us um, at his house. He works for a garage right down the road from us, but we get a better deal from him. So we, um, I called him to, you know, he hasn't called back yet, so we can get it fixed and get that car back going again. So I just wanted to show you, we did go on a bike ride when we got home. We took our bikes out, went around, around the block, basically. We went out our street, went down uh, Shore Road. And on to, um, um, can't think of that street right now, um, Bowles Landing, came back up to County, came County, went on to Old County, and then we went back into our neighborhood from that way. So we did a six-mile ride, so I'll show you what we did last night. This is our mileage last night, 6.43, and I'll show you on Michelle. Um, yeah, a lot of hills. Yeah, a lot of hills. So, Big hills. Huh? Yeah, 6.55. Um, a lot of hills, so what we rode last night kind of equal what we ride here at the bike trail because of all the hills and stuff, you know, kicked our ass, so it was good, we enjoyed it. Okay, let me reset mine now so I can show you, okay, now we're at 0, 0.00, now I'm over to Michelle, Oops. she's resetting hers right now, as we speak, okay, here we go, 6.00 on the time. That thing. 329. Oh, 329 is the time. So, all right, nice cool today. It's been misting here and there, um, sprinkling. That's about it. We're not supposed to have any rain. It's just going to be cloudy all day. Um, western part of the state, you know, is going to get all the rain. So we're not going to, we're not supposed to get anything down here. So we should be okay. If not, we've got some of the underpasses that we can duck under if it starts to rain. If it's that bad. Yeah, if it's that bad. If it starts to rain pretty hard, we got places we can duck under to stay dry, and we'll just kind of wait it out until it, you know, till the rain stops, so, all right, well, we're going to head on our ride, and we'll check back with you guys in a bit. Bye, everybody. See you later, guys. Hey, everybody, Glenn and Michelle checking in. We started our ride today, and, boy, it feels nice out here, nice, cool breeze. God, you know, it feels like a nice, cool fall day out here. This is fantastic. Hi. Right. And we're really enjoying this. Wow. You know, it doesn't feel like summertime. I'm ready to, you know, almost ready to put on a, a you know, a light windbreaker or something. Jeez. It does. It, does. it feels great. Yep. I am wearing shorts, t-shirts, you can see. There's my bony knees. You know, I'm, you know, definitely enjoying this weather. Wow. This is a change, boy, from the other day. It does. We love it. So, we're out here starting our trek down the trail. And the park, park lot was pretty full, so there's people out here. We don't have to worry about that. You know, there's lots of people around. So, we're not going to be the only one out here. And, you know, talking to my brother this morning, and I didn't catch the news, so I didn't catch the weather. But he says, just going to be the western part of the state that's going to get the rain. Just going to be cloudy here. We've just had some light sprinkles like mist, and that's been it. So we'll be we'll getting our 15 mile ride today with no problem. So, okay, we're going to make our first crossing. Talk to you guys in a bit. Later, everybody. Hey, everybody, Glenn and Michelle checking in. Hey, everybody, we're out here having a great time. Oh, yeah. It's beautiful out here today. We're on the old trail. Getting a good ride, nice cool breeze. We are loving it. It is. It may be a cloudy day, as you can see. 
look up there and see. You know, it's nice and cloudy out, but oh boy, it feels great. You know, the humidity's gone, and we got just nice cold air. It feels like we're in an air conditioned room, but that's just great. We're loving it. Oh, yeah, a lot better than the air conditioned room. Nice fresh air. Yep. Maybe when we get up to our, our uh, nice uh, scenery, we see the marsh and stuff. We'll see if it's low tide. See if we can smell the nice salt air and the debris in the air. It'll be great. Oh, yeah, we're enjoying this ride. Yep, yeah, we'll get a nice breeze of a high tide coming across, and we'll still kind of smell the salt air. It'll be really nice. Oh, yeah. This is really the time to be out riding. Hi. You know, we're enjoying this, you know. This is really the best time to ride. Sun's not out, you know. It feels great riding in this weather. Even if it rains a little bit, big deal. We got... Yeah, we can feel it sprinkle a little bit here and there, but, you know, we do have some of passes that we can duck under, so, you know, we'll be all set with that. Um, we get out, out of the rain and stay dry, and we can always wait for it to stop. And nothing says we can't ride in the rain. We'll get a little wet, but we won't be like the Wicked Witch of the North and the Wizard of Oz. We won't melt in the rain. Nope. So, we'll be all set with that. So, yeah, when we were kids, we always played in the rain, and that wasn't a big deal. I remember getting soaked as a kid out riding my bike and having a good old time. Yeah, there was nothing wrong with that. We enjoyed it. So today, our ride, once again, is going out to our dog, Buddy. Buddy, we really miss you a lot. We thank you all the time, every day, all the time. Yeah, every time, every minute of the day, we're thinking of you. And we miss you. We wish you were here with us because we'd be spending a lot of time with you. And, yeah, and we also want to send this ride out to our friend and my business partner, Chuck. Um, hi. Um, Chuck passed away a few days ago um, due to lung cancer and and so it's been really tough you know, with him going, you know, because we had him living at our house for a little bit, him and his wife and his daughter, and, you know, to help them out. And they were in a bad time, and he was going through the chemo, the radiation, and he seemed to be getting better. He looked better. Yeah, they said he was cured, that it was gone. And they moved out. They got their own apartment. And... You know, things seemed to be going okay. All of a sudden, things started going downhill. He went to the hospital a couple of times. And then he ended up, this last time going in, they said there was a tumor in his brain. But they didn't tell him. They told his wife. And Deb didn't want to tell Chuck because she didn't want to upset him any more than he was. Because he was in a lot of pain and stuff. And so... Um, he didn't make it too long after that. Last time I saw him, I was at their house dropping off the computer that I had done some work to, and um, he did not look like himself. You know, he was starting to look like skin and bone. You can see it was just, the cancer was just eating him away, literally. So, I feel bad. Right. So, Chuck, we miss you, buddy. So, does you're up there with Buddy now, hey, up there. You guys can take care of each other. Yep. Hopefully Buddy's there, giving you lots of hugs and kisses and cuddling with you, as usual. As usual so, yeah. you know, and we also want to say hi to our friend Pam. Yeah. Pam, me and Michelle love you, and we want you to come back home, and we want you to be able to come up here, and we will in time get you bike riding. Yeah. We know you may not be able to do it now. Um, but we would like to get you back home and get you bike riding with us. You know, even if it takes a year or so to get you riding. But, you know, we understand why. And, you know, we'll help you with that situation. 
Yeah, we have two, you have two friends that you'll never have to worry about. We'll always be there for you. So, um, please, come home. And, yeah, um, and also, we wanted to let you know that there's a house right behind us that, like, yeah, there's a guy living there, and he's, a. Uh, um, the house is looking for a new owner. The guy is selling his house. And he's dropped it down quite a bit. And from what I've been told, he's going to drop it down really low. Um, so we'll let you know about that. Because it's directly right behind us. Our yards are about each other. So, you know, if you'd like to have a nice house with a couple of good neighbors, um, you're more than welcome to. We'll, we'll help you with that even. Right. But we know you've got a house down there that, you know, that you own outright. And if you, know, if you want to come back home and you want to sell it, and, you know, get rid of all the junk that's in it, well, we'll even help you with that, you know, getting you back up here, you know, as far as, you know, we can make all the arrangements. You can get in touch with a realtor if you're interested. We'll hook you up with the realtor and, you know, you can make her see what kind of a deal you can get, you know. Probably something you can afford and you can own it outright. It's like a two, what is it, a two or three bedroom, honey? I think it's a two bedroom. Nice, it'd be perfect for you, Pam. You know, and you have us right next door if you needed any, us or anything. Yeah. Yeah, it needs a little bit of yard work. It needs some weeds to be getting rid of. A lot of weeds. And then we have a You know, yeah, we'll help you get rid of the weeds, get the yard cleaned up, get rid of the weeds and stuff. That's all it is mostly. It's just weeds. Um, hold on, we got a car here. We have to. Oh, hybrid. Ah, nice. Very nice. Yep. Stalled out on them. Jeez. <laughs> Toyota Prius came to a stop and it was the engine stalled out. It was a hybrid. Yeah, it went to EV mode. Electric vehicle mode it went into. That's funny, but well, anyways, Pam, yeah, we'll help you acquire this house if you'd like. We'll help you fix the yard up, help you get the house, get all your stuff put away inside, and get you a nice little home to live in, and you'll have two friends to keep you safe, always be there for you to help you. Um, so you wouldn't have to worry about that. So, okay, well, this, so this is going out to Pam, her friend Ken, and also our friends from Alaska, um, Linda, Melinda, and Joey, as well as a good friend of ours from school, Cassie, Cassie Lemire, we, as well as her mom and dad, um, Jackie and Bob, send this out to them. So, um, this rise for all you guys. We know you like to watch the videos, and um, keep on watching, because we'll keep on making the videos. Yep. Oh, Emily, and our friend Emily, we're going to send this out to Emily and Joe, because they're watching the ride now, so that's good, because Emily doesn't have the balance to ride a bike. We'd like to get her one of those three-wheels, they call them a trike, we'd like to get her a trike, so that she could ride with us, and so we know she's been watching, so we're glad you're enjoying the videos, guys, and we'll keep making them, and while we're out here getting exercise, Especially on a nice cool day like today. I love today. Today's one of the better days. So, all right, you guys. Well, we're going to boogie you on down the trail here and see if we can make some tracks, kick up some dust, whatever you want to call it. And we'll check back with you guys in a bit. Talk to you, everybody. Hey, everybody. Glenn and Michelle checking in. We just ran into something weird. It was like a black squirrel. Yeah, it was right in the road, laying in the road, and then it got up and it went into the woods. Never seen a black squirrel before. It was weird. No, he got up and just launched all went across the road and into the woods. And it was strange. Yeah, I know. Well, we're up here in Sipperissa. We're passing the teepees over here, if you can see them through the woods here. Um, so we're almost up to the hospital. We're getting there. We're going to go all the way to our parking lot where we normally do. Turn around. We want to get our full 15-mile ride today. Yep. 
We need that. So we're making it though. We're doing it. So we'll check back with you guys in a bit. Talk to everybody. Hey everybody, Glenn and Michelle checking in. Hey everybody. Hey guys. Yeah, we stopped to get some. We're uh, partaking in some liquid nourishment. Yep. Yeah. Some water. Yep. We're partaking, making sure that we're staying hydrated while we ride. And PM said that we have to do it. Yep. We're up here at the hospital crossing. As you can see, that's the crossing right there. And um, we're about to cross after we're done here. Well, tell well, Pam I'm not the best water drinker. Yeah, Pam, Michelle's not the best water drinker. So she don't care for the taste of plain water. I don't know why. So, But she's out here doing it. But so she's still drinking it. Yeah, she's drinking it. Because it's all you can really drink, you know. Cause it's the best thing for you when you're riding. Or even walking or jogging, whatever you're doing. You know, it's the best thing. So, you don't want to bring anything else if it's not healthy for you. And you don't want don't it real. Want sugar. I don't want anything nope. sugar. No sugar. And you don't want the water real cold either. Start off with ice. By the time we get to the trail, the ice is melted. The water's cool. It's still cold. As we're riding, it starts to not be so cold. So it gets to the perfect temperature by the time we take our first drink. Because you can actually, you know, the uh, cold water can actually, you know, cause cramping and stuff when you when you're out riding. So we don't want that. So, but well, we're making sure we do it right. So we'll catch you guys in a bit. We're gonna start heading out. Yeah, just try to get my. Okay, I'm trying to stretch you. Yeah. Yeah, Michelle's just stretching her. And I have to do my calves too. Yeah, right. doing the calves. I ended up with uh, two trolley horses on the line. Oh yeah. One in either leg. I don't right. know. Wow. Well, it's good. Maybe so, she's, calcium and maybe so as you guys can see, she's doing a little bit of stretching out here, making sure that she gets everything nice and tight. Our leg muscles are definitely getting tighter as we ride oh, bikes. Are, but I was oh the yeah. Bike. Yep. So and we're making. Cramps in a long time with leg cramps. Right. She doesn't want to get any leg cramps. She gets some. You know, she hasn't had them in a long time. No, I did. I had them yesterday. Oh, you did have them yesterday. One in each leg. Oh boy. So the bike riding has been helping with that. So. You know, she's trying to just stretch and make sure need, that... I might need calcium or something. Yeah. Well, we're here. We're riding. We're enjoying ourselves. All right, you guys. We'll check back in a bit. Michelle's going to finish stretching for a minute. And we're going to head on our way to the parking lot. Talk to you soon. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. See hey, ya. everybody. We're uh, at our parking lot here where we always turn around. And I'm going to show you our mileage right now. I got 7.79, 7 and I'll come over and I'll show you Michelle. On average. Yep. And I've got 7.90. Uh, she got 7.90 on the time. Yeah, too bad we didn't go around some more times than we could make it. Um, I know. Nine. I eight miles. Yep. Time is 4:43, so we're doing pretty good. Not too bad. We're up here. We we'll get ready to head back to the car, yep. and we'll start heading back on our trek back. Get out 15 miles in. So yep. we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Right, See you, everybody. Okay, bye. See ya. Hey, everybody. Glenn and Michelle checking in. Hey, We're on our way back to the car. And we just went underneath our last, well, second to last underpass, or overpass, I should say. Um, we're definitely enjoying the ride today. It's a beautiful day, even though the sun's not out. It's nice and cool. Yeah. Feels really good. We're enjoying this ride today. You know, even the rain stopped. It was only sprinkling just a little bit, and that's all we've had. So it's been good. And um, so yeah, we're enjoying this. We're definitely having a great time, huh, sweetie? Yep. So Pam, don't worry. We'll get you out here riding. We'll get you home, and you know, we'll get you out here riding with us eventually. It may take a little while, but we'll get you out here. Don't worry. You don't want to go up bike ride with us all the time. Yep. So you'll be out here enjoying it with us. You'll feel better about yourself like we do. Yeah, we feel great after riding. Yeah, we feel great after when we after we have a bike ride. We go home and we're like all kinds of energy when we get home, right, sweetie? Yep. Yeah, Michelle said she feels taller when she's done riding bike. So that's good. Maybe it's stretching her out. Yep. So 
yeah, we're definitely, this is definitely what we like to do, you know, it feels great when we ride, so we're happy. Yeah, we're definitely going a little downhill now, we're picking up some speed. Oh yeah, look at that, 14, 15, no, not quite, almost, 14, now we're losing our hill back down to 13, not bad though, we definitely enjoyed this ride, so, alright, we'll check back with you guys in a bit, see you everybody, hey everybody, Glenn and Michelle checking in, it's funny, we were just back there, and a little boy, about 10 or 11, Went cranking by us like we were standing still. He did say on your left when he was passing us. It was too funny. He was moving. He's long gone. He had a tennis racket strapped to his back and he was cruising. So he was either playing tennis or going to play tennis. Well, one of the two. But he went cranking by us. Yeah, we were standing still, but it was too funny. About to cross. Yeah, we got another crossing up ahead here, so just gotta get. Old Black Road. Yep. Old Black Road. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Now we made that crossing safely, no cars. That was good. Yeah, a little less than four miles left to go. And we'll be back at the car, so we're making it. Yeah, there's been no rain, just a mist here and there, and that's been it. Yeah, going back's a lot easier because you go mostly downhill. Um, and they're real slight hills. When you watch our videos, when we're heading through that parking lot, we may slow down a little bit, but we're still able to go. You know, there's no... There's no steep hill on this trail at all. You know, they're all just slight gradual hills. And you don't even notice them. You can feel when you're riding a little bit, it slows you down. But otherwise than that, it's nothing. So we're heading back towards our last overpass. When we get to that overpass, that's when we have exactly one mile back to the car to go. So this is great. All right, you guys, we'll check back in in a bit. Talk to you, everybody. Hey, everybody, Glenn and Michelle checking in. Almost to the cranberry bogs. So, we got about two miles, a little over two miles left to go. And then we'll be done. It's really nice out. We got a breeze blowing against us, but it's not too bad. You know. Yeah. Yeah, the smells are incredible out here. A lot of people are barbecuing, you can smell it when you go buy it. Oh boy, that smells good. I want to stop and invite myself to the barbecue. <laughs> That's right, we'll go home and start our own. We'll make the neighbors jealous. Yeah, we'll have all the neighbors over the house for a pork roast with a nice barbecue rub on it. Oh yeah, that's going to be something. We'll see, we've never had it before. We got it at uh, BJ's Wholesale Club and we'll try it. It's an actual rub. We'll rub all over the outside of the meat, and then we'll go from there and see. So, well, here we are. We're out in the open right now, and it's not bad at all. I don't know. Couldn't say. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we're enjoying this bike ride. Working our way back to the car. Yeah. Feels good. You know, you guys get to see us out here riding as often as we do. And yeah, at least three times a week we try and do it. And not only that, but we like to give you guys the feeling that you're actually out here riding with us. And we know you guys that are from this area, from Cape Cod, are homesick and would love to be here. Don't worry, Pam. We'll get you home. We'll work on it. You know, we'll get you back here. By hook and by crook. Yep. That way you can be around all your friends, even your best friend, Joanne. You'll be able to see her whenever you want. So this will be great. 
So, all right, we're making our way back to the car slowly but surely. Seven miles an hour. She's slowing down here. Now we're doing eight. Oh boy. One mile an hour faster. We'll make it there a half a second faster. That's all right. We're working on it. So, all right, you guys, we'll check back in a bit. Talk to you. Hey, everybody. Let Michelle here. We're on our way back. We'll got about not even a half a mile. We'll be back at the car. Chain link fence is straight up ahead. We'll see the bumper stop for the train. Then we'll see the, we climb that hill and we'll see the red blinking light for us. And we're almost done, baby. We get back to the car, load the bikes, and go home. So it's been an interesting day. We just helped the guy back there. Um, He's down for the week. He doesn't know where he's at. He was on the bike trail. He saw the bike trail and decided to take the bike trail, thinking that we could get back to where he's staying. And he can't find it. So he's staying down near Old Silver Beach. And well, we know where that is. So we got him heading that direction towards out on 28A, heading towards Old Silver Beach. And I told him that once you get to the rotary, just ride around the rotary. Go to the right, you'll see the sign that says Old Silver Beach, and he'll be all set. He should know his way from there, hopefully. We're going to load the bikes, take a ride down there, and see if we can see him anywhere to make sure he made it okay. If not, we'll help him find his place. Um, we do have a rack that'll hold three bikes, but I didn't put the other set of straps on. They're at the house somewhere. i got to find them so that we can... You know, put them on in case we need them because then we, you know, we would have brought the guy back to our car and brought him to go find his place so well, we'll, we'll take a ride down there make sure he's okay before we head home you know, tell me and Michelle are you know, we like to make sure that people are okay and safe you know so I know Pam you really like that and that's how we are so we'll make sure he's okay Make sure he makes it back to the place where him and his wife are renting. He was following a guy, and the guy stayed on the main road, and he decided to take the bike trail because he saw it. And um, so that's how he got lost. And he was asking us for the name of the road, Kirby Street, or Curly, or and he wasn't sure what it was. What? Okay. It is okay. So we'll get him back there. Hopefully he'll find it on his bike. I sent him in the right direction and hopefully he'll find it. But we're gonna go down there to make sure that you know he's okay. See if he's still lost. And then we'll head back to the house. Yep. Maybe. Yeah, probably at night time it goes off. So we've got the blinking light ahead. We're almost done with our ride. Oh boy, it feels great. We enjoy this ride every time we do it, more and more so. You know, it's just the most beautiful thing to get out here and ride. No matter what the weather is. We won't come out if it's pouring rain. You know, if it's like misting like it is right now, it's not too bad. Okay, we're going to cross the street here. Nope. Yeah, not no distance, no way. Okay, go ahead. Here we got an animal and a car letting us go. And we are done. Oh, this was a great ride. It's always a great ride. Yeah, right. Yep. All right, here we are back at our Explorer. Be nice to get our other car back because this has got a V8 in it and it uses a lot of gas, so we like to use the Escape because, you know, it's a hybrid. You know, we don't use a lot of gas in that car. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wow, nice. There we go, 15.26 on mine. 15.53. 
Nice. I wanted to make it 16, but... Uh, that's okay. Look at that, 15.53. And the time. Look at that. 5.43. Nice. Beautiful. So, we did good. Even though we stopped to help that guy try and find where he's going. Yep. So, here we are back at the car. So, Michelle's going to load her bike. I'm going to load mine. And I guess our ride is... our. Ride on the trail is done for the day. You know, it's a really nice ride. We enjoyed it. So, all right, you guys. Well, we're going to load our bikes, and we are going to start heading home. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. See you, everybody. Bye. Everybody. Bye. Happy trails to you, keep smiling until then, who cares about the clouds if we're together, just sing a song and